Hi, this is Nathan Tuscher from PKPD Associates, and this is the first lecture on area under the curve as part of the non-compartmental pharmacokinetic analysis uh, course. So area under the curve, or AUC, is the total exposure to drug over time and can be calculated as the integral of all concentrations across all time points. So mathematically, it's expressed as shown there, the AUC from 0 to infinity is the integral from time 0 to infinity of the concentration time curve times the uh, delta t, or the change in time. So AUC can actually be calculated directly from the concentration time profile data using simple algebra, adding and multiplication. And AUC can also be calculated for any time interval for which concentrations are measurable. Those are called partial areas, and we'll talk about those a little bit later. So here's an example of area under the curve. So we have a, a set of plasma concentration time data shown here from time zero, peaking uh, about one hour post-dose and then declining down to six hours post-dose. So area under the curve is literally the area that's underneath that plasma concentration time curve. So once that's calculated, um, that number can be used to make comparisons between drug exposure. Mm -hmm. So to calculate the AUC, we're going to go through a few mathematical derivations. <clears throat> and uh, the first is that the AUC from 0 to infinity can be divided up into the AUC from 0 to T plus the AUC from T to infinity, where T is the time of the last measurable concentration. So you can see here that AUC is additive. Um, so you can cut it into pieces and add it back together and get the whole. So you can further reduce this by saying AUC from time 0 to T2 is equal to AUC 0 to T1 plus AUC T1 to T2, where T1 is some time between 0 and T2. So you can divide your AUCs into as small a pieces as you want as long as you have data uh, to support that. So we can also write this as the AUC from 0 to time n is the integral from 0 to time n of c to t times dt, which was the original definition, or it can also be the sum from i equals 2 to n of these smaller intervals. Um, and so in effect what you get is that this integral is just the sum of all the AUCs put together. So each individual area for each two adjacent time points can be summed together and that gives you the total area under the curve. So how this would look is if you, on this data, instead of calculating the individual area in, in its entirety, you would calculate one piece and then the next piece and then so on. And you calculate each of these pieces of the area under the curve and then you would sum all of those together and then that would be the total area under the curve. Now you'll notice that we've left off from six hours on and we'll discuss that in a later lecture. So in summary, to calculate the AUC, you calculate the area of each trapezoid using adjacent concentration time data pairs and then you sum all of those areas together to arrive at a total area under the curve. So how do you calculate the area of a trapezoid? So an area of a trapezoid is shown here. It's uh, one half times the height times the sum of base one plus base two. So in other words, it's the height times the average length uh, between the two bases. So the height in our example is actually delta t, or the, the difference between time two and time one. And the two bases are the two concentrations. So the AUC from t1 to t2 is one half times delta t times the sum of C1 plus C2. So one thing we need to do is uh, interpolate or estimate the values between two known data points. And uh, estimating the values outside of known data is called extrapolation. But we're going to do interpolation. So there's two methods to interpolate between concentrations for the calculation of area. There's the linear interpolation method and the log linear interpolation method. Let's describe those. So the linear interpolation assumes linear relationship between two adjacent data points. So if we look here on this example of a graph between one and two hours, 
as the drug concentration is falling, which is the blue line, it doesn't fall in a linear fashion. It falls in a log linear fashion. So linear interpolation is what would be the red line. You draw that area. And you can see that the red line, the area under the red line, is slightly larger than the area under the blue line. Um, and this is an overestimation when concentrations are falling by the uh, linear interpolation method. The log linear interpolation method assumes a log linear relationship between two adjacent data points. So it says that the concentration falls in a log linear fashion between those two data points. And as you can see here, the what occurs is you get a more accurate representation of that trapezoid when you do that interpolation. Now, when we look at the rising concentrations, rising concentrations actually mostly follow somewhat linear profile. So linear interpolation is preferred, which is shown on the left, where there's a slight underestimation of the concentrations, but it's worse if you use log linear uh, interpolation as concentrations are rising. When concentrations are declining, as we already showed, uh, they generally follow a log linear profile and log linear interpolation is performed, uh, but linear interpolation will overestimate your AUC for those declining concentrations. So there's a few methods that can be used. The first is called linear up, log linear down, or linear slash log. And when concentrations are increasing, the linear interpolation method is used. And when concentrations are decreasing, the log linear interpolation method is used. This is actually the most accurate method for uh, estimating area under the curve using non-compartmental analysis. There's also linear only, and this is required for generic drug data analysis, and it standardizes the analysis so that all samples are treated the same way. And so linear is used whether the concentrations are increasing or decreasing. So here are the equations that you would use. The linear equation is the one that we're already familiar with. It's one half times the difference in time times the sum of the two concentrations. The log linear is similar but slightly different. It is the difference in time times the difference in concentrations divided by the natural log of the ratio of concentrations. So these are the equations that need to be used when calculating log linear interpolation for uh, AUC calculations. So there's an example for you to work. You can download the AUC example one XLS file. It's an Excel file and you can calculate the AUC for each interval using linear interpolation, log linear interpolation, and then calculate the total AUC using the linear method and then the linear up and log down method. And then we can come to the next lecture and walk through it and you can compare your answers to the uh, AUC answers one Excel file that'll be included in the next lecture. So in conclusion, the area under the curve, or AUC, can be calculated from concentration time data, and a trapezoid is used to estimate the area under the curve between two data points. The total AUC is the sum of all trapezoids, and we talked about linear and logarithmic, or log linear interpolation. Linear can be used for increasing or decreasing concentrations. It's preferred for increasing, and log linear should only be used for decreasing concentrations. Well, that's it. Good luck on the examples, and we'll see you at the next lecture.